Hey everybody, I am Laura and welcome back to Two Confident Notions. So yes, look at me filming. Look at me filming some stuff so close together. I'm actually going to post these. So I just filmed the video which came out yesterday, which was Monday. And then I am filming this one right now, which is right after I filmed that one and it will post Tuesday. Crazy, isn't it? Because you know, I very rarely post things so close to after purchasing. That's just me. Anyways, so I, like I said in the last video, I went to a new to me Dollar Tree and about lost my ish because all the fall was out. Like all, all of the fall was out. And I was like, ah, get it now where it goes. So let me show you this. And I was just kind of embarrassing. I'm not going to lie. Anyways, they had all the signs, they had the DIY stuff. So I'm going to go through it. Like, let me show you this stuff because I'm like, literally, I'm dying here. And then, yeah, we'll go from there. First up, this Farm Fresh Apples, apples and sunflowers, locally grown produce, 100% organic. And it's an apple. Love it. So cute. Fall decor. I can't even with this and it's got this like nice like even like the the leaf is metal who does that right so this one here again press board totally fine adorable as you saw in the picture there the my thumbnail this one the sunflowers and it says give thanks on it i'm getting a glare because my angle is off because i can't film like i normally do cute little jute thing and um cord this here is not metal, but look at that. Ah, I can't, I can't. You can put that up now. They had a ton. It's so like for all you red truck lovers, like like there are so many like signs with like red trucks and pumpkins and all of that. I was like, dang, there's a lot of red trucks out here. So if, if that's you, this is your season. Believe you me. So next up, I, um, I bought an embarrassing number of wooden things. And do I intend to DIY all of these for the fall, winter? Probably not, but you know what? We got some for next year and the year after that, maybe. So first up, cute little skull thingy. Maybe we'll give that to Morgan to decorate. Um, but come on, come on, adorable. Then this one here, we've got a black, well, I mean, it's not black, but she gonna be black. Uh, kitty with the jack-o-lantern so cute i mentioned in my last video so i have a black cat so my cat godiva is all black and she makes great decor as well i'm like girl just sit on the front porch just sit on the front porch she's like Bang. won't sit on the front porch for one or two this one i can't even it says wicked with the witch hat i love this one i love this one so much i bought an extra in case I messed up one or want to give away one. Love, 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 ah, love this one, love it. Then there was a trick or treat one. We have a spooky house. It doesn't even have to be spooky. Spooky house, spooky ghost, a happy Halloween. Boy, this is embarrassing the more I get through this pile, isn't it? A witchy, witchy in the cauldron. This pumpkin. This one's cute. This one's real cute. It already comes with like the little, like straw thing on here. Raffia tie. And then this pumpkin as well. So yeah, those are hella cute. And I was like, ah, oh my God, I love them. So adorable. Anyway. So that was that. Now, I didn't get these ones at that particular Dollar Tree. I got these um, the other day, but look, your girl's going to buy some of these. So first things first, I found some other t-shirts and I ain't going to stop buying these t-shirts. I'm just not. So why not, what you going to do? So this one is a 2TXL. This is a, wait, 2 2 two x lt so extra large tall so it's longer um and this is navy blue and it does have a little holy hole in the back which i don't care because i'll sew it up 
gift to my husband. I told you, I just, um, he's not the great, like sometimes he'll just wear shirts like to death. And so I've taken to buying these shirts at the Dollar Tree and just putting them in the wash and just folding them and putting them in with his other clothes. And he doesn't know, like, he doesn't realize he has like 12 more shirts that he did before. Anyways, this one here. Do I need this one? No. This is a 3X long sleeve. Long sleeve. First of all, let me move this a little bit. Let's see if I can get rid of that glare. There we go. I can't. It's a sign coming through the blinds in front of me. First of all, you know I love a long sleeve tee. Do I need a 3X? No. Do I need two? I do not. But here's the thing, if you're gonna find like a giant oversized long sleeve t-shirt for a dollar, am I going to buy? Yes, 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 yes. All the yeses. Giant, oversized, big old 3X T, 3X long sleeve, yes. Yes, yes, yes. So, I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. I'm gonna wear them. I don't know if I'm gonna like decorate them or like, DIY them or something. I mean, let's be realistic. Anything's possible. I don't know what you're going to get. All right. What else? So, where did I go to find this stuff? Oh, I was over somewhere. Terrible. I'm like, oh, it's somewhere. I picked up three more of these Crafters Square retractable holders. The reason why I actually did get these is I saw somebody online um, use these to store their vinyl for their, their Cricut. So I have some vinyl that are in tubes that are just willy nilly all over the place so I can tightly roll them and put them in these things. So I got some extras to do that. Then I picked up another book. This is um, The Kennedys After Camelot, and this was based off the movie that was on reels, I guess, with Katie Holmes and Matthew Perry, and I heard like Katie Holmes did a really good job as Jackie, Even I didn't watch it, but I think she was like nominated, maybe. Anyways, this is a nice big book, like again. This is like, this and that giant like Hilton book is just because I'm nosy and I want to read all of this. I mean, this is big, I mean, this is a lot of Kennedys, but yes. Bought some tape, mainly because I couldn't find my tape and I used up all the tape that was in my drawer over here. So, and this is like real tape. This is like Scotch brand tape. You don't get a lot, but I mean, it's a dollar, so. Then um, I picked up this rubber hammer. Let me tell you why. My mom wanted a rubber hammer for like years and years and years. And I remember this as a kid and I remember being there when she bought a rubber hammer and I was like, what are you gonna do with that? And she's like, I'm, going to hit your father over the head and bury him in the garden. And I was like, oh, okay. And she has fed my father with a rubber hammer for many years. Why a rubber hammer versus like a regular hammer? I don't know. Uh, 40 plus years later, my dad's still going strong, definitely not in the garden. So that's not why I bought this rubber hammer, but I bought it because I have my toolbox, which Kevin is a little salty that I have my own toolbox. Not that I shouldn't have one or anything like that, but he's like, why are you hiding these from me? I said, because you lose things and you don't put them back where they belong. So I'm gonna have my own toolbox, so I always know where things are. And the other day he was up here, he's like, Can you got a hammer in your special toolbox? And I was like, no, no, I don't have a hammer in my special toolbox. Now I do. And he would just put things back. Why? Why did we have like literally seven, um, measuring tapes in five different drawers if they were all in one drawer we wouldn't we'd know we didn't need seven what happens when you don't put things back where they belong just saying it's out dearly i knew i'd marry him and he wasn't great about putting stuff away so you just have to adapt it's fine. <laughs> okay so um then I picked up this. I saw somebody else haul this. I think Patty hauled this before. Patty at Patty Chance hauls. Anyways, this is, um, it's Paw Patrol, which Morgan is not a fan of. Well, she doesn't care, right? But it's a food cutter set and you can cut your sandwiches into shapes. She's also not great about sandwiches or bread. But 
I thought maybe if we cut up her food into something, or I'll save this for some bread mail. Anyways, this is cute. Like, this is cute. This is way nicer than, like, a dollar, so. Somebody go get that if it's not her. Then I saw another notebook. Look how cute this one is. Can you see this? So this notey part is, like, a piece of, like, clear. And then just this, like, really, like, simple, beautiful... Um, greenery on it. Ugh, I thought this was precious. So I picked up that one and this is Jot 60 Sheets. Then, no, 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 no. I'll show you. I picked up two packs of the scrunchy, scoochy uh, hair elastics. These are the tiny ones, like for the ends of ponytails or the tops of ponytails. So when you have a, um, little girl with all the hair in the world and you, you, you go through these a lot so 40 of these for a dollar yes yes because more often than not she's i'm like what do you want to do to your hair today and she's like i want an elsa braid or i want on a braid so it's like i want one braid or i want two braids and you need and these don't always come home with you they don't um i picked up another one of these black hair clips because i didn't I bought one before and I thought it was so cute and she didn't come home with it and I was like oh it's lost at school and then it was in her bag I found it this morning it fell out so now she has two which is fine one of them's going to disappear eventually speaking of that oh this one's missing one son of a gun I picked up these and now I look at it it's just four piece it looks like there's already one missing it's too bad oh really I'm not gonna take it back out I'm not taking it to the dollar. I'm not taking it back to the Dollar Tree. Three is fine. It's fine. And oh, this. <laughs> this one cracked me up straight out of groceries, but I love it because it's in that font. It's in that design. Straight out of Compton design. Okay. Oh, oh, here's the other one. Never mind. I don't have to return. I don't have to like talk about returning it. It. I got four. Two black, two gray. Magic of television. <sighs> then I picked up these and I, I I already regret this. These are markers. Look at these. So they had a couple of different designs, but they had Sesame Street marker set. All these different colors. You get eight. Yes, eight in all of these different colors, and you can see the characters on them. And these are imported by Greenbrier so cute i got that one and i got the my little pony ones she doesn't care about ponies but i wanted something else they also had like dr seuss and paw patrol my child loves markers loves them loves them with every fiber of her being as much as she loves markers i despise markers the caps get off you leave them they leave them sit out they get messy they you, you color through they bleed through under things they're a mess markers are a mess for toddlers mess 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 hate it hate it hate it But I was thought maybe like she's a little bit older, maybe we could just with some better supervision, we'll marker it. And these are smaller for like smaller hands and you get all of these colors. So I thought they were cute. I already regret it, but it's okay. Last, oh wait. Then I picked her up this. This is the sip -a bowl And you put your cereal in here and it's got this straw that you can drink the milk out of the bottom. Now, at the, her daycare, they teach them, like after they eat their cereal, they tip up the bowl and drink their milk. Tip up the bowl, drink their milk, finish it off. I'm like, this is brilliant. So like every day she has cereal in the morning for first breakfast. They also have second, they have second breakfast at school at like 8.30. And so she's hungry in the morning when she wakes up. So she has like cereal or a bar or something. And then they have breakfast and they're like, oh, you know, it's not like a balanced breakfast to so make sure that they have like other food before they go. So they'll get something small, like, and when I say small, like they'll have cereal or, or pancakes. Friday, they have like, a sausage biscuit, which I think is a fine breakfast. But anyways, she gets all excited about second breakfast. And let me tell you the one way to motivate my child and to get her, her butt in gear and get to school is to tell her that if you don't hurry up you're gonna miss breakfast because she's like I can't miss breakfast I can't miss breakfast I'm, I'm not gonna make breakfast like we were early today because she was up at the crack of dawn and she was we we're on the way to school she's like are we gonna make breakfast 
are, are we gonna get to breakfast in time I'm like yes Morgan don't fret you'll make it to breakfast anyways this morning we had a cereal mishap we did spill some cereal on the floor but then later she would pick up her bowl I wasn't nearby I was trying to find her hairbrush this morning and um she picked up her bowl to drink the rest of her milk and spilled milk all over the chair so I was like I have this bowl and she's gonna use this bowl because then she can just drink it instead and I got red because that's her favorite color last and certainly not least these were new not seen these before and they are clips they're like those charm clips and they had frozen ones so we have Anna Elsa and Olaf with the little clippy dudes I don't know what I'm gonna have I'm clip on these for her maybe maybe a lanyard or something I'm not certain but I thought that was a cute little set maybe we'll put them on a necklace I need one of those charm necklaces like these old school plastic charm necklaces that would be perfect for her anyways so that's that oh shoot one more thing sorry this is going way longer I got four minutes left. these were new to me and these are retails dry erase dots. Would you look at that? They're these dots and that you only get four of them, but like, I guess you can stick them on and you can write on them. I don't know what I'm gonna write on them, but I thought that was really cool. Or maybe I'll put them into some friend mail, but look how cool that is. So you can like just use on walls and other flat surfaces, removable, repositionable. Oh, what? But it's cute. It's definitely better than a dry erase board. I mean, it's not better than a dry erase board, but anyways. So there's that. Okay, I made it through. Now I've got to go to my meetings. So, what's today? So today is going to be the 28th. So don't forget. Um, if you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so. We have a big giveaway going on between myself and Mimi Sparkles. And it's like, get us to a thousand subscribers. So go ahead, find that video. I'll have it linked down below. But hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, go to that other video and sign up. Sign up subscribe, put the hashtag in, and you have a chance to win some great stuff. So I hope you all are staying safe and sane and healthy and have a wonderful uh, rest of your week and I'll see y'all soon. Bye.